they still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. So... <clears throat> I haven't played this game since like February 13th, 2020. So it's been almost two years since I've played it. <clears throat> I got frustrated because I couldn't figure out where to go in it in my other profile. So we're just going to restart the whole game. <clears throat> but seeing a lot of people on TikTok post it, and I'm just like, man, I got to give it another try. Because I played Metro 33. Metro 2033. Uh, Redux in Metro 2033 Last Light. And now I'm doing Exodus. Let's see how it goes.
Eggnog along the way, we've already had one shot, we're gonna make it those shots right now. Number two, uh, coming up. Before we start. Spiders. Chaos down here. Point blank period. Mm. 
Another the bio loot miss it. like shotgun ammo everywhere and I can't even... <laughs> Keep us covered! 
Where to now? Left, across the square! Amen. Hey, Damir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Well then. Another shot it is. Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel! Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else, and the Order is here to defend it, because if not us, then who? You look fine to me, so get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Maybe say Doc. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> of course, kiddo, just stop giving me all that crap. How long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In all that room, who will be left here in 10 years? 10 years? I lost the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for our job. 
Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You Who gave us a scare, scare brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I Pardon see you're all me, right. gentlemen, give this way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom, a few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how you are you the nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Aha! Privyat, Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official! Yeah. I knew it! You guys are like kids. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? All right, let's get moving. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all of these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here but monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa, hear that? I like this scope. Did you hear that? Again! Watchmen! Filters or anything over here. Don't seem to be.
I got you back, we babe. We sure gave them hell. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank god. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. Fool, he could have lived. Let's go. I guess I survived that pretty well. 
hell is over here? God, did I really just get stuck? Watchmen broke through. Uh, workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through. <laughs> What's that noise? That's a bad idea. Nothing. You didn't hear nothing. We should send a group there to see. Attention! The turntable is switching off. Straight for the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Ah. Animals. How can they? What can I do? The, the mutant? The watchman! A human? How did you... Oh, oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her? All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Well, let, let old Artyom have, have a drink, because, y you know, yeah. <laughs> Artyom just got shot.
Another one down the hatch. Permission to report, Captain, sir. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait! Yes, sir. It's under constant watch. You'd better not walk into the light. I'll report to the press and request work. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Yes, sir. Oh, Yermak, are you through your bout of conscience? Hey! What the hell is happening? You fucking breaker again. Looks like they didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Senya, go tell the one. Move crouch. It's quieter that way. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yermak. Stick close so to the wall. Yeah, but I feel like they would be able to see us, though. <laughs> Yermak, is that you? No what sense. are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Simon Mikhailovich. There's a failure with the generators. You should see it. What? Yeah, I totally <laughs> need you to tell me what I should do. Better fix this line here. Wait. Come on, move. You'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling? Oh, I'm just talking to myself. I got the memory problem, you see. That's what. Ah, oh, you're Mac. Time to fit that pine jacket, huh? Yeah. Wait. Turn that light off. Don't come on me. Get to work. Let's go. Wait. Wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way. This is trouble! Damn. I'm gonna take a break, take a smoke break, and then I'll be right back on. Let's get ready for part two, but... Dang, already died. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a quick smoke break, get ready for part two. See you in a bit. Swarm out for now.